I've got a scar on my left side from a, a young teenager, uh, a cycle accident in, in, in my town. And at the time, the cosmetic surgery available, some sort of 40 years ago, was, was uh, probably in its infancy and uh, fairly limited and, and probably uh, out, out of my reach to afford to uh, give it the attention it was perhaps due. But however, um, Ian thinks um, by applying the same bloods that he's going to take from my body, etc., he can substantially improve my, the visual side of my scar on my face, which again would build my confidence and, and just help me to feel good about myself. This is the area, Tony, if you have a look in the mirror that you can see oh, that, yes. that we can yep. work and get along this scar just to see if we can really get that lifting up a bit here. But I'm also going to put a little bit of the filler in the lateral cheek here just to see again if we can just lift up this part of the cheek here uh, and restore a, a little bit of lift along both sides there, Tony, with, with, with the filler and the pillow. Yeah, so I can see them. Yeah, okay. And push it back. It's there's plenty of science around PRP. It's been used in medicine and surgery for many years now. Platelet cells are cells in our own body that are therefore helping to restore and repair damaged tissues. Platelet cells contain growth factors. In fact, there are 20 different growth factors within platelet cells. When we injure ourselves, and we've all been injured, then at some point you'll see that uh, when a scab forms, underneath the scab, there's a yellow gooey substance. This is the platelet-rich plasma or platelet fibrin matrix that contains the growth factors. What we're doing with PRP is we are able to take some blood from you. We're then able to extract the platelet cells and activate them to release the growth factor so that when we re-inject that back into the, the body, in this case into the face, then we will stimulate a very profound regenerative process. So it's effectively a very natural process a process of healing and, rest and, and restoration. So yeah, it's just numbing these key little points, Tony, that's all, just so we've got. It's a bit like you're going to the GP, it's just a bit of, a, a, good, a, a good syringe full of blood. I've been doing PRP now for, for quite a number of years and I've, I have seen some, some excellent results so far. However, this new system is utilising the latest technology. I use the Magellan True PRP system, which is more than just a centrifuge to separate the platelet cells from the blood. It actually gives me very, very high concentrations of platelet cells in the PRP, unlike any of the other systems on the market. This system has been cleared by the FDA, or the Federal Drugs Agency in America, to be very safe and effective. It's a closed system, so there is no risk of contamination or infection whilst using this system. I started using the Magellan True PRP system with the vampire uh, treatments and because of the very high concentration of platelet cells in the, in the plasma that I can use, I'm getting outstanding results. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing a treatment underneath the scar to release it so that I can have a place where the PRP is going to go, sorry Tony, and create a little bit of a, a lift in this area. So we're just waiting for the PRP to, to come out of the uh, cell separator and what I've worked quite hard on this scar with a, something called subcision to try to break up the scar tissue underneath the skin so that when we put the PRP in this area it will hopefully get that scar to remodel and regenerate uh, and, and the skin repair so that effectively hopefully in time it may take quite a number of months we'll start to see an improvement in, in the skin here and the, and the scar will reduce. At the same time I'm just, just generally doing uh, some PRP effectively a, va a vampire facial uh, the vampire facelift in the other areas just to get a little bit of lift and to try and uh, improve again uh, the, the, sh the, the, the shape of, of, of Tony's face give him a little bit of lift obviously being very careful not to Volumizing areas, keeping him uh, uh, as, as, as you'd expect a male to be, um, and the volume and, uh, and lifting in the right areas. Very, very important with male patients. So I'm going to introduce the PRP now, uh, and I've got my uh, syringe full of uh, very, very high concentrate PRP, 
and I'm literally feeding this underneath this line. Oh, that's the, the vampire facelift done for Tony. Um, we worked on key areas, uh, key target areas, but predominantly as well as just trying to correct some of the, the crow's feet around here, the nasolabial, uh, the marinette and the pregial sulcus here. Um, we'll get a regeneration there. And especially in this area here along the, uh, this significant scarring, I think you can see already that that's starting to lift up in the scar. So um, I'm very excited to see how, how he responds to that scar treatment. Tony, lovely to see you again. Um, I think it's been about six or seven weeks now since you've had the, uh, the, the vampire facial treatment facelift and, and we did a little bit of work on this really long-term scar that you've had by the side of your yes. uh, mouth there. H how's it been? How do you feel it's going at this point in time? Well, I, I definitely think there's a significant improvement in the, in the aesthetics of the scar. Yeah. It certainly doesn't feel um, any, there's no issue with this feeling of it, it's the same, so that's good. Uh, it's it's much harder to see unless you're really focusing on it yeah which is good okay i think you've still got some laxity which is not unexpected um and we can lift this tissue so that an option you could have is a treatment called silhouette soft which is a suture thread lifting we could at some point lift this tissue and do that on both sides and you can start to see how that gives a nice natural repositioning of the tissues and a natural lift. At the same time, I think we will need to do some more treatment on the scar um, with the vampire treatment with the PRP, just to try to lift that a bit more. So I think yes. if you were to go forwards, Tony, I would suggest you might like to consider a lifting of the tissues with the Silhouette Soft. Yeah. And we'll do that second treatment we said uh, to try to lift the scar and to remodel the scar as well. So having said that, I, I think that, uh, you know, as we said right at the start, you know, it's a gradual process. Yes. And, and we have got some improvement no, already. That's good progress. Yeah. yeah. I'm really pleased. Okay.